Well, hello all my big kids and my little tiny chicken nuggets. Welcome back to another edition of Mr. B's Art Room. Today I'm very excited to be with you because today I'm going to be teaching you how to do a really cool art project called Paper Plate Snakes. I know, Steve. You don't like snakes either. I'm a little bit frightened by snakes, so I'll tell you what. If you guys see a snake, let me know, okay? What? Over my shoulder. Whoa! Whew, thank you. Anytime you see a snake, let me know, all right? Like I said, these snakes aren't scary. These are paper plate snakes. So today, you're going to need a paper plate. Just a plain old paper plate. Now, if you don't have one, I've got an alternative for you. You can grab some paper and something round. I've got this round Frisbee and a piece of paper. You can see I've traced it onto the paper, then cut that out. Okay, that's a good option for you if you don't have paper plates at home. Some materials you're going to need for today's project. You will need either, like I said, the paper plate or a piece of paper cut to a circle. You're going to need some scissors, or as I like to call them, that's right, skizzers. Need some of those. You're going to need something to draw with, whether it's a, a pen or a marker. You'll also need something to color with. Today, you'll see me using my oil pastels. Now, if you don't have those, that's fine. I also am going to be using, for the first time on Mr. B's Art Room, some paint. What I've done is taken some paint and some water and made a real drippy mixture I call uh, paint wash. So I'll be painting today a little bit. If you don't have paint, don't worry, you don't need it. You can do this whole thing with markers or crayons. That's fine too. You also may want to have some string or yarn or ribbon of some kind. So we'll need just a little bit uh, of that. Some tape is a good option or a hole punch. If you have a hole punch, that's great. If you don't, tape will be fine too. All right, so let's get those materials and get started with what? Another one? Where? Ugh! Thank you. Let's get started. Once you've gathered your materials, you're ready to begin making your paper plate snake. The first thing you want to do is decide which side you're going to work on. The side that you eat your food on or the bottom. I prefer this side, the side that you eat on, because you can press down firmly against the surface, your table, or whatever you're working on. If I do it this way, there's some space between and it's, it's difficult to draw. So I, I will start on this side. After that, grab a pen or pencil and you're going to make a swirl starting from the outer edge going towards the middle. If you have a hard time with this, ask an adult for help. The key thing when you're doing your spiral is to make sure as you go around you have a decent amount of space. If it's too thin, your snake's going to be real thin and could break easily. So I spin mine as I draw. It helps me. And as I draw, it's going to go closer and closer towards the center. There you go. See my spiral? So this, you can see this pointy part here is going to be my snake's tail. It'll wrap around and then this in the middle will be his head. Just so we can see it, I'll draw some eyes for now. There's his eyes and two dots for his nostrils. Once you've finished with the spiral, now it's time to decorate it. You can do this any way you want to with any materials that you have. I'm going to use today I've got some oil pastels for color, and then when I'm finished, I'm going to also paint it, paint over top of my oil pastels. If you don't have paint, that's okay. If you don't have oil pastels, that's okay. Use what you've got, markers, crayons, colored pencils, anything is fine. Now that you've finished designing your snake, you're going to let it dry if you used paint or if it's already dry from using just markers or crayons. You can go on to this next, what? 
Not again. <laughs> Better. We can go on to the next step. Okay, once your snake is dry, you can take some scissors and you're going to cut all along this line, the swirl that we drew. So I'll start at the tail, stay as close as you can to that line. And as I cut, you can see it's separating his tail from his body. So I'll continue to spin the plate and cut around that line. His body keeps getting longer and longer until I get to the center where his head is. I go all the way to the end of that swirl line that I drew and stop. So you can see when I grab his head and his tail, there's his long body. Once you're finished with that, the next thing you need to do is attach a string. Now this is an optional step. You don't need to do this. I'm going to attach a string to his face right here. Now there's a reason, and I'll show you in a few minutes about that, but it looks kind of like a tongue. Now you can attach it with tape or glue if you want to. If you have hot glue at home with an adult's help, you can certainly do that. Or you can use a hole punch. That's what I'm going to do right now. I'll punch a hole right through his nose there. Then. I'll put my string in, and again, if you need an adult's help, you can ask them to help you tie a little knot. There we go. Maybe I'll make it a double knot just to make sure. There we go. And that'll be his tongue sticking out, or you can hang it as decoration like that. If you have anything else you want to decorate with, if you want to glue things on his body, you can do that. I happen to have at home, let's get this glue going, I've got some googly eyes that I just found. So I'll put eyes on like this. There we go. And like I said, you can decorate glue things around his body to make him look a little bit nicer. All right, there we go. I'll show you exactly what this string is for right now. Now that your snake is finished and cut out, you've got your string attached. You can see, you can grab it by its tongue or that string and it can be a hanging decoration or you can take it outside and do this. I'm exhausted. That was a lot of fun though. I hope you guys enjoy it. Well, don't forget, whenever you finish your projects, email them to me. I'd love to see what you guys are up to. Whether it's this project or another, send it to me at bbojanowski at rhmail.org. I miss you guys. Can't wait to see you guys soon. Not again. Get out of here, snake! Have a great day.